Hello my friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel. This is Randy from Ranch Graphics. Please support my channel by hitting subscribe, especially for those friends who newly visited my channel. Press like. If you have questions or concerns about this video, just let me know in the comment section below and I invite you guys to share this video. Okay, so now I will show you what we are gonna be creating today. create a new composition and I will name it tagline the width is 2000 and the height is 250 30 frames per second 10 seconds resume the background is black click ok enable the title action save here go to my text tool and type tagline center it horizontally and vertically I'm using the font called soy genesis 3 regular at 120 pixels the space in between letters is 200 then i will change the color here i'll just type the code 52 three times click ok then expand this layer go to animate and go to tracking i will change the tracking amount here to 180 create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch move my play head to about four seconds change the amount here to zero composition and create a new composition i will name it logo placeholder Thirty-eight forty by 2160 30 frames per second 10 seconds duration the background is black click ok zoom it out then i will go to my project panel open these assets open these folder elements highlight this logo and drop it down into the timeline press s on your keyboard for the scale and shift p for the position scale it down to about 50 percent drag it up and it should be good enough close it and go to project panel again and drop down this tagline press p on your keyboard for position and i will drag it down then go to composition create a new composition i will name it logo footage Thirty eight forty by 2160 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok go to elements highlight this footage and drop it down into the timeline right click your mouse go to transform fit the comp then go to composition create a new composition i will name it logo edge 3840 by 2160 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok go to project panel and drop down this logo placeholder in the timeline press ctrl d on your keyboard to duplicate it go to effects and preset stylize find edges go back again to effects and preset go to keying find extract change the black point to 25 and the black softness change this to 30 change here the track mat to alpha mat go to composition and create a new composition i will name it logo chalk mat Thirty eight forty by 2160 30 frames per second and 10 seconds duration click ok then i will go back to my project panel highlight this logo edge drop it down into the timeline also this metal texture drop it down into the timeline press this on the keyboard for the scale i will scale it to 120 then i will highlight this layer go to effects and preset go to color correction herbs i will again go to effects and preset color correction Ten. I will go to the 10 and change the code here on the map white 2 to 64 63 63 then click ok drag this curves down like this the other one here up just like that and change the track mat here to alpha mat then again I will go to composition and create a new composition and I will name it logo pre comp the same comp size and duration click ok 
go to project panel and drop down this logo footage into the timeline the choke math change the track math here to alpha math go to composition again create a new composition i will name it fractal light sweep Thirty-eight forty by twenty-one sixty. Thirty frames per second and ten seconds duration. The background is black. Click OK. Highlight this logo edge. Drop it down into the timeline. Go to Effects and Preset. Go to Color Correction. Tint. Change this mop white to dark color. Then go to Effects and Preset. Go to Generate CC Light Sweep. Make sure that your keyframe is at the beginning of your timeline. Change the center exposition to negative 858. Then the Y position, change this to 532. Then create a keyframe by hitting this stopwatch on the center. Then move forward your play to about 10 seconds. And change again this X position to 3951. Then the Y position, change this to 284. Open transform. Change the scale here to 600. Change the width here also to 380. Sweep intensity is 82. The edge thickness is 3.8. And the direction is negative 29. Then go to layer, create a new solid. And I want this color white. Then drop it down just below the logo edge. Go to effects and preset. Go to noise and grain. Fractal noise. Change the amount of contrast here to 129. Brightness is 22. Complexity is 20. And opacity is 100. The blending mode is normal. Okay. Change the track mat here to luma mat. Then I will go to Composition and create a new Composition. I will name it Edge Fractal Light Sweep. Thirty-eight forty by 2160, 30 frames per second and the duration is 10 seconds. Click OK. Now go to Layer and create a new Solid. I want it white. Click OK. Go to Effects and Preset. Go to Noise and Grain and add Fractal Noise. I will change the amount of contrast here to 431. The brightness, I will change this to negative 44. And open transform, change the scale here to 952. The complexity is 20. Then go to your project panel and drop down this logo edge into the timeline. Go to effects and preset, color correction, then Change this map white to dark color. Then go to effects and preset. Go to generate CC light sweep. Change the sweep intensity here to 299. The width is 333. The direction change this to negative 29. Then the center on the X value change this to negative 858. And the Y value change this to 484. Make sure that your play is at the beginning of your timeline, okay? Change the edge intensity here to 424. Then the edge thickness change this to 1.2. Change the blending mode here to add. Highlight this logo edge. Press on your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Then change the track mat here to Luma mat. Change the amount on the width to 63. The sweep intensity change this to 150. The edge intensity change this to 500. And the edge thickness is 1.7. Then make sure that your blade is at the beginning of your timeline and change the X value on the center to negative 530. And then hit the Stop watching here to create a keyframe. Then move forward your playhead to the end of your timeline. Change this X value here on the center to 3944. Then the Y value change this to 436. Then 
I'm gonna check this one if I yeah I didn't create a keyframe here so all I have to do is to go back to the beginning of my timeline and I will create a keyframe on the center move the playhead to about six seconds duration I will change this center x value to 3944 and y value I will change this to 436 See you guys. I'll go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it main. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration. Click OK. Go to layer. I will create a new solid and I want it black. Click OK. Right click my mouse here. Click compose it. I will name it BG or background. Move all the attributes into the new composition. Click OK. Then I will go back to my project panel and drop down this logo pre comp into the timeline. Press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. First disable this logo pre comp. Then I will highlight this logo pre comp below. Go to layer, layer styles, inner glow. Expand this inner glow. I will change the color here to this code 86, 86, 86. Click OK. I want the technique precise then go to layer go to layer styles add bevel and emboss expand this bevel and emboss and I want this style outer bevel close it then I will enable the visibility of this logo pre comp above go to edge fractal light sweep highlight it drop it down to the timeline then I will highlight this one again go to effects and preset go to color correction I will add tint then change the map white here to this code A3FBE9 click OK then change the track mat here to luma mat I will highlight these two layers press my keyboard control D to duplicate it then I will change the color here to this code 51 17 17 click OK I will highlight these two layers press my keyboard control D to duplicate it then I will highlight this logo comp and change the blending mode here to add then I will go back to my project panel and drop down this logo chalk mat into the timeline then the fractal light sweep Change the track mat here to Luma mat. Highlight these two layers. Press your keyboard control D to duplicate it twice. I will highlight this choke mat and change the blending mode here to add. Then go to layer. Create a new adjustment layer. Drag it up on top. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize and glow. I will change the glow radius here to 77. Glow intensity I want 8.1. Then I will go to effects and preset, go to color correction and add curves. I just want to create a contrast on it. Then go to composition and create a new composition. I will name it saver. 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration. I will go back to my project panel. I will drop down this logo placeholder into the timeline. Then I will open the main and drop this saver into the timeline. Go to layer, auto trace it, click OK. And now I will delete this mask because I don't want to include this in my saver. So all I have to do is to click once, highlight it all and delete it. Then I will go to effects and preset, go to BG Pro Pilot and choose this saver. Open customize core, change the saver to layer mask. Go to preset and change this to fusion. Move forward your play to about one second duration and make a keyframe on the start offset. Then move your play to four seconds and 15 frames duration and change the start offset to 100%. Move your play to the six seconds duration. Press you on your keyboard to see the keyframes. Then create a keyframe by hitting this tiny diamond icon here. Then move forward your play to eight seconds and 16 frames duration. Change the value on your start offset to zero. Move your playhead back to two and ten frames duration. Make a keyframe on the end offset and change this amount to zero. Then move forward your playhead to the four seconds and twenty-five frames. Change the end offset to one hundred percent. Move again your playhead to the eight seconds and sixteen frames duration and change the end offset to zero. 
then open flicker and change the flicker intensity here to 500 the flicker speed i will change this to 20 then change the blending mode here to add now go back to your project panel and open it then drop down this sound effects into the timeline then preview it So now guys we are done with our tutorial and thank you very much for watching. I hope this tutorial will help you and don't forget to like, comment and share this video if you like. And my thoughts for today is that don't be intimidated by fear if you want to learn because fear always makes you drag downwards. Thank you very much guys for watching and see you next tutorial. God bless.